solve x into d cube y, d cube y by dx cube plus d square y by dx square equal to 1 by x. Okay. Now find the complete solution. Complete solution means y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral. This is complementary function. And second one is particular integral. Add it, you get complete solution. Okay. Now this is a Cauchy's linear equation. It is not a general form. You convert into general form Cauchy's linear equation. Okay. So means we required x cube y triple dash, x square y double dash should be required. Then is a general Cauchy's linear equation. Now, so we have x into this is y triple dash plus y double dash equal to 1 by x. This is not a general Cauchy's linear equation. We multiply, multiply by x square because you should be required x cube y triple dash x square y double dash x y dash like this. Okay, and multiply. Multiplying by uh, x square, both side. Okay, then this is a x cube y triple dash plus multiply by x square means x square y double dash equal to x square multiply one x is cancel is equal to x. Now this is a Cauchy's. This is one Cauchy's linear equation. Okay, now this is called equation number one. Now this is Cauchy's linear equation. Now you put t means log x only in the Cauchy's linear equation. Put t is equal to log x or e to t is equal to x. And we assume the results. The results are x into y dash is a dy. Very simple. And x square into y double dash d into d minus 1 into y okay and one more is x cube y triple dash d into d minus 1 into d minus 2 into y okay now these results substitute in equation number 1 using in equation number 1 okay hence equation number 1 becomes Okay. Equation number 1 becomes, now substitute in equation number 1, x cube y triple dash is d into d minus 1 into d minus 2. We will take y is a common outside the bracket. Okay. Plus x square y double dash. x square y double dash is a d into d minus 1 and into y. Okay. Is equal to x. x means what? e raised to t. Is equal to e raised to t. Now, now find the complementary function and particular integral. Now using Cauchy's linear equation steps, then go to next go to the next step is finding complementary function. Okay, this one complementary function. Then after particular integral. Now auxiliary equation is d become m. M is equal to m minus one into m minus two plus m into m minus 1 right hand side is a 0 whatever right, right hand side should be 0 now m into m minus 1 is common find the roots m into m minus 1 is common inside is m minus 2 and this is plus 1 equal to 0 and this is equal to m minus 2 plus 1 again m minus 1 again m minus 1 m minus 1 is it to repeat m into m minus 1 whole square equal to 0 now roots are okay m is equal to 1 m is equal to 0 and m minus 1 equal to 0 means the whole square 1 1 total 3 roots but roots are repeat now roots are repeat is a complementary function is yc is equal to 1 root is a 0 c1 e raised to 0 means 1 only only c1 is like this plus 2 roots are equal means c2 plus c3 into t okay into e raised to t 2 roots are same 
write like this this is complementary function now go to the particular integral particular integral is yp is equal to phi of x upon f of d now this is phi of x and this is f of d f of d means uh, open the bracket uh, this is a e raised to t phi of x upon f of d means open the bracket now you get is a d cube minus 2 d square this step okay minus 2 d square plus d open this bracket we get like this now this is e raised to ax upon f of d means d is equal to a a means what e raised to a t a means 1 put d is equal to 1 e raised to t upon 1 minus 2 into 1 square is again 1 plus 1 means e raised to t into 0 denominator is a 0 denominator part is a 0 now next step is multiply by t into e raised to t and this is f of d differentiate now you differentiate this one 3 d square minus 4 d plus 1 like this okay again using type 1 d is equal to a a means what 1 again put d is equal to 1 t into e raised to t upon uh, d square 1 1 square means 1 3 minus 4 into 1 is again 4 plus 1 again a denominator is a 0 once again once again again uh, denominator 0 again repeat multiply by 1 more t means t square into e raised to t again a differentiate this one not this one again you differentiate this is 6d minus 4 okay once again take put d is equal to a a is again 1 means d is equal to 1 t square into e raised to t divided by put d is equal to 1 6 minus 4 and this is equal this is equal to t square into e raised to t divided by 6 minus 4 is 2 this is uh, again denominator 0 one again one, uh, suppose next this step is again denominator 0 again you multiply by t and again you differentiate this process is continue okay in this problem is only up to here now this is p particular integral now complete solution is equal to okay now complete solution is y is equal to yc plus yc plus yp yc means complementary function c1 c1 e raised to 0 means 1 only c1 plus c2 plus c3 e raised to t sorry into t into t e raised to t plus particular integral is t square e raised to t divided by 2 now substitute what is t value and e raised to t t is means what log x and e raised to t means x okay now substitute now y is equal to c1 plus c2 plus c3 into t t means log x and e raised to t means x plus t square means log x whole square into e raised to t means x divided by 2 now this is required solution 